guys, what's going on? It's me, your boy, Worst Effin Gamer, and this is everything you need to know about the brand new feature in Soul Hunters. Pets have arrived, guys, and uh, they are a game changer. They've changed everything, guys. Forget about rankings. Forget about all the heroes that you know, because uh, pets will take your hero from here to here. So it's a completely different system, guys. So we need to talk about this a little bit more. I'm going to show you guys exactly how the pet system works because if you are below level 95, you are not able to access this. All right, just so you guys know, uh, you have to be, your hero has to be a orange plus two and uh, above level 95 or above for him to be able to adopt pets, all right? So that's one thing that everybody needs to know for now. So if you're below that, keep riding, keep working your way up. You're almost there. All right, guys, for everybody else who is able to get the pets right now, let's talk about a few things that you need to know, first of all. So first things first, your pet can only raise your hero's physical attack, magic attack, or health. Those are the three bonuses that the pet can give. Also, each pet has its own special ability that also equips to your hero. Plus, some have two abilities that we will discuss a little bit further on, all right? Uh, we have green, blue, and purple pets as of right now but there's also going to be coming legendary pets the orange ones those look like uh, obviously they're going to be the better ones to have but for now you want to have a purple pet a blue one is second tier and uh, the green one is lastly that you want to have so let's get going on the process of how we get an egg and how we hatch it and what it comes out to all right so let's begin all right so the only way you can get an egg for right now is chapter 17 any normal stage or any heroic stage all right guys so if you click on any stage right now you can see that you can get a green blue or purple egg any one of them take your guess take your pick let's go ahead i'm going to go with the beach one and the pine trees let's go ahead and let's see what my luck is like guys 10 pull right now if i can pull it now this would be amazing let's see so you just sweep you do your normal thing and every once in a while if you are lucky an egg will drop then let's see if we get one here no we did not get one here which is pretty tragic johnson i'm going to try to sweep one more time here and let's see if my luck changes for the second 10 pull here guys um drop plates are fairly low all right so you have to be really lucky to get an egg but if you do it's really worth it all right so let's begin with still nothing so my luck as always sucks right now but not to worry guys because i've already gotten an egg and i put it in the hatchery so let's head over there right now all right so the next step once you found your egg is you have to come into the hatchery this is in your heroic village here and you'll see you have six incubators all right you just click on an incubator and it will give you a choice to which you know which one of the eggs do you want to choose you go ahead you pick the egg you put it in there green eggs require six hours to hatch blue eggs require 12 hours to hatch purple eggs require 24 hours to hatch as you can see on your incubator here and i'm guessing when the legendary comes on it'll probably require 48 hours but that's just me guessing for right now all right so i digress let's go ahead as you guys can see I've already got a purple egg right now and I'm super excited to go ahead and open this purple egg for you guys. It's my first purple pet. So this is amazing. I can't wait for it to hatch right now. And um, if the timer runs out, so it's almost been 24 hours. If you wait, you don't have to spend any diamonds. The egg will just hatch. You just click on it. It hatches. If you want to go ahead and speed it up, it'll cost you diamonds. Okay. Now, for this one, it'll only cost me 97 diamonds because I've already spent most of the time, but typically it's over a thousand something gems to hatch this right away. But not to worry, wait a day, your egg will hatch. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead right now, guys. I'm going to hatch this egg for you guys right now. So let's go ahead. Let's do it. Drop a like if you're excited to see what this purple egg is going to be, guys. Go ahead. Let's do this. Give me that luck. I need it right away. Let's go ahead. Hurry. Yes, I want to spend it. Okay, here we go. Something good. And we got Mika. Whoa. Uh, okay, so that is really cute. That looks awesome. A little furry little kitten. Oh, it's a fox. This is awesome. I have a cat that's a Shiba Inu. It looks kind of like this, guys. So this is our purple egg right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Mika actually does. And the way you can actually go after you hatch your egg, let's go to the pet section here. And this is where you can check out all of your current pets you can check out where they have been assigned to, who's assigned to who, unassigned, and then you can distinguish between common, uncommon, rare, or legendary. As of right now, those are all my pets. So my best one right now is the one I just hatched. The purple one is Mika. So let's click on Mika and let's see what her abilities are. So as you can tell, 
right out to the side there supports her master by giving them a speed boost all right so this is a speed pet very nice and then underneath it, you can see the pet stats. Physical attack boost, 7%. That's really good. Magic attack boost, 3%. And a health boost of 6.5%. Very nice starting boost, all right? I say starting because there's ways to enhance that, guys. I will talk about that in a little bit later. Now, um, the first thing you want to do is let's go ahead and check out its abilities. So click on abilities. And this is purple egg, so it's got two abilities. It's very, very cool. So let's check out the first one right now. It's the Fox Spirit. When her master's health is less than 30%, Mika gives her master increased physical armor and allows them to recover some health. So that is phenomenal. So whenever somebody drops below 30%, they're going to get um, seven. Well, that's 7,000 health at this point back, plus increased physical armor by 488. That is a really cool ability, guys. Really, really cool. Now let's take a look at her second ability here, which is Beast Within. Uh, when her master uses his or her ultimate, Mika gives her master increased physical attack as well as a, uh, as well as a speed boost. Increased physical attack by 1,200 while ability is active. Increased attack speed by 22, 21.35%. Oh, wow. That is insane. That's pretty sick, guys. This is the best ability that I've seen from all the pets I have right now. That's phenomenal. Mika is a great pet to have. Wow. All right, so we found out what, it, what the abilities are of this pet. Now, next step is we got to choose which hero we want to give this pet to. And the way that you want to do that is by its stats, okay? And by the abilities. You kind of got to make your own judgment here. And this is what separates, you know, your heroes from other people's heroes because this customizes everybody's heroes. You can have a Volko with a certain different pet and a Volko with a different pet and the difference in power could be completely different depending on what pet you have on them and ruins ruins are also uh, different as well. But let's go ahead now, let's take a look. I need somebody obviously physical because this is a way greater physical boost and health is fine. And depending on, because of this abilities now, so they will get a, this is a physical armor so it doesn't matter which hero I give it to. Possibly, maybe a tank and uh, some healing. And this one is a speed plus physical attack. So obviously you need a physical hero, first of all. So it eliminates half the people. All magic heroes kind of eliminated. So a physical hero and I'm thinking maybe a physical tank is somebody I want to give it to. So let's go ahead. You choose master. And there's your list of all of your heroes, guys. And... Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. We're gonna, I'm going to do this right here with you guys. Let's see who I'm going to put this on. Um, first of all, first thing that comes to mind is I kind of wanted to put it on my Petros. The problem is my Petros already has a pet. So if I want to put it on Petros, I have to remove the pet that he currently has. And then I would be able to put this pet on Petros. Let me see if there's anybody else that I can give this to. And after scrolling around, guys, I realized... Petros is probably my best option to give this to, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my other pet from Petros and give it to him. Alright guys, so here we are, and this is the current pet that I have on my Petros Flapper, and I've already completed his um, max level of hearts that you can get there, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But here is the issue, once you abandon, so if I abandon my current, let's see what it says here, after transferring Master, you must wait 48 hours before you transfer again. The pet will revert to one heart comfort level, so hearts are comfort levels, and the food will be returned to you. Oh, that's actually pretty good because I didn't know that the food gets returned, so this is actually pretty good. Let's confirm. All right, so we take back Flappy, goes back to one heart, you get all of your food that you gave to him back, which is actually not that big of a deal, and then we can go ahead here and we can choose another pet for him. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give him Mika, so let's go ahead, let's carry Mika for Petros. This is pretty good. And then next step is we can feed our Mika here to make him the same equivalent comfort level as our hero. Comfort level is actually really cool because it uh, grow its stats. So stats will definitely grow. So let's go ahead and give him everything I got here. Alright, so there it is. I've maxed out my comfort level for my pet. But don't forget your candies, your chocolates, and all these uh, foods that you need to feed your pet. You can get these in the shops. Your Epic Arena shop, your Arena shop, and the Hall of Legends shop. Alright, you can get a lot of those in there. But, 
one tip that I would have for you guys is if you're trying to get the best bang for your buck maybe don't work so much on all of your green pets maybe wait a little bit for more of your blue pets and purple pets it'll take a lot longer and you might be a little bit behind if everybody else is working on the green pets but these but the food for all your pets is not cheap and you might fall behind if you run out of, out of resources early on feeding all these green pets and then when you finally get a purple pet you might not have enough resources to feed them that's just an opinion that I'm kind of thinking about right now but it's not for certain guys alright so we don't know for yet but for now let me go ahead let's feed our Mika here and let's see the increase in stats right now so all of a sudden health boost goes to 19.5 percent that is a tremendous health boost guys it's so massive physical attack boost goes to 21 percent that is a lot as well so this is a phenomenal boost that we get to our petrol here and it distinguishes and makes him so much better than he was before it's phenomenal and at this point now once you have re once your mika has reached final you know all seven comfort level now you can work on her abilities here and i'm going to work on the first one first and the second one second so 10 on each one little by little max level for your abilities is 40 so you can't go over 40 and then this one you can actually see now increased attack speed by 24 percent and increase by uh increased physical attack by 1400 that is a lot of you know it's such a big increase there uh accumulates 8000 health increased physical armor by 500 so this is pretty sick so if you can get down to 30 percent and last in there a little bit longer that would be phenomenal so all of a sudden i'm going to work on these abilities you know in the upcoming hours and uh, i can't wait to see what this is maxed out because this is looking phenomenal now let's go ahead and check out our petrol's final stats right now all right so as we can see here guys your pets stat bonuses go into your growth of your hero so at the top health growth plus the 19.5 percent that we get from our pet plus 21 percent physical attack growth and then uh small magic growth as well we don't really need magic as you can see his magic is zero so it's kind of useless uh, in a perfect world, I would love to have Mika on a dual attacker hero, maybe somebody that also deals a little bit of magic attack. But for right now, I think it's perfect for Petros with the healing and the armor and the attack bonus. So I think it works out pretty well for him. Uh, don't forget, you can always access your pets as soon as on your hero screen. So you just click on the little hero tab at the, at the side there and it'll take you into your pets. And uh, this is where you can check everything, your stats, your abilities. And max that everything out so that's pretty much it but what would a hero improvement be without a battle guys so let's go ahead let's take petros into a battle arena battle and see how much better this guy has gotten so let's go right ahead all right so here we go arena battle let's see what petros can do here we got some crazy teams here going at it right now with for the top spot this is going to be hectic as hell i am just kind of concentrating on my petros let's see how much longer he can survive one catch is that Petros normally usually his health is always high so you know even getting him to 30% health is tough for your opponent but if you can get him to 30% health that will help you out but usually he won't go to 30% health until the end of the battle and then by then I'm hoping that most of his heroes are actually dead so all you really have to do is a tad bit more to uh, maybe finish off the battle so let's see what this does here so we're gonna get hit with an Ulko ultimate here which will definitely take some damage for him boom there we go I don't think he's quite at 30% just yet I think now he might have reached 30% um could be there we go so it's pretty much Petros now versus one of his and I got Raymond still alive but Petros is still alive guys and as I thought this is kind of my plan have Petros in there to survive to the very end and then hopefully he will have enough in the you know bag to take out whoever's left because it'll be tough for them to take him out especially with my pet abilities in place right now so there it is it worked out perfectly as i suspected beautiful job petros you are the man and look at that damage guys incredible damage he is my number one damage dealer and um the pet system is insane i can't believe it it makes such a big difference guys and that all of a sudden boom takes us to the number one spot and that's how you do it i only have two pets on my heroes right now my Volko is a blue and my Petros is purple, but I can just imagine what the team would be like with all purple pets. Incredible. And that'll be it for now, guys. I'm going to end this video off here. I hope that helped you out a little bit to kind of get a future intel on what the pet system is all about if you're not there yet. And if you are there, my only tip for you guys is maybe don't work on your 
green pets as much, all right? First of all, it is very expensive to upgrade their ability points. Ability points cost a lot of coins, a lot of gold coins, which it gets expensive towards the end. And also, feeding them is also pretty expensive. So maybe you want to only feed and work on your pets that you really, really like, that have some great abilities. Don't work on all of them because I think people now, they're getting a ton of green pets and it's a new system right now. So everybody thinks, oh, I'm going to put all these pets on my heroes, work on all of them. It might not be the best idea right now, all right? Kind of take the same approach as you did in the beginning of the game where you have all these heroes, but you can only really work on maybe five to 10 of them at the most. So that's what I would suggest. Work on maybe five pets that are really going to help you out in your arena battles or in your Hall of Legends and then the rest kind of leave behind and work slowly on them, alright? That's my only advice to you guys right now. And I'm going to end it off here, guys. I hope you enjoy that. I will catch you guys on another Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out.